Hi, this is Joni, Holistic Health Guide and Human Design Reader. Yesterday we moved into spring equinox in the Northern Hemisphere. While we're all wanting this spring to be an instantaneous return to normal, or as close to normal as we can get, if you're at all a sensitive being, there's a good chance things have still been feeling really all over the place. I mean, certainly the last couple years, even leading up to COVID, were more chaotic for many, but right now has also been pretty intense. The highs, the lows, the wild dreams almost every night, they're sometimes good, sometimes frightening, sometimes super confusing, and it's been like the past, present, and future are all meeting. It's like the timelines are just all meshing together and blending. People from all over your life may be presenting themselves in your dreams and even in real time. That's what's happened for me. It's been pretty wild. And while this channel is brand new and starting with the basics of holistic health, everything is connected. So in saying that, I can go way out there offline, which may or may not resonate for you, but I can say, even within the basics of holistic health, that, you know, with complete certainty, we are all highly energetic beings who are all highly connected. And that is now, thankfully, being backed by those with PhDs in neuroscience and Western medicine. We are all made of electricity. And in talking basics, speaking on our food, for example, the good food grown in the earth, the organic food grown in the earth, not the organic food being grown under fluorescent and hydroponic lights, which is sadly what we're buying a lot of the times in the grocery store, you know, even that organic food simply doesn't hold the highest of light energy and therefore the nutrients, the most nutrient dense formats of organic food that we truly need. So in a nutshell, we're all energy, everything is energy, and everything is connected. But I wanted to give a nod to the spring equinox today to support anyone who is noticing this scattered energy. And even if you're not, that's okay. There's no right or wrong in any of this. We're all having different human experiences. But leaving all of that there for now, <laughs> just know that the spring equinox, this equinox, can be a new beginning for anyone, for anything, anytime, in any way, <laughs> moving forward. If you've taken time to address what you perceive to not be so great in your life, your physical health, mental health, emotional health, your career, your financial health, any and all dependencies within your environments, within your life, any addictions of all kinds, any of these that may appear socially acceptable and look good on the outside, like what society deems appropriate in any way, in the form of a nuclear family, for example, you know, the husband or wife, two kids, white picket fence, <laughs> or as though we have our shit together in general, or, oh, we're so successful, or that we're quote unquote good because we're caring for someone else in some way. But, you know, when you've taken the time to put an eye on all of these things, you but you still know deep down inside that something is off or that these behaviors and or patterns or appearances, they aren't truly healthy on the inside and aren't actually supporting us in being self-regulated, self-supported, interdependent beings. When we know deep down inside, I mean, yes, it's been clearly a highly unusual year, but it's also been a year that's very much granted us the opportunity to see what we know deep down inside. So this can often be referred to as our shadows, our darker sides. Um, and if we're willing to see them, that, that they're there, <laughs> that yes, hi, we see you. <laughs> Every single one of us, you know, have blind spots and we all have this. And so this year has been an opportunity to see it, whatever it is, clear as day. Again, if we're willing. All of these elements, whatever they are, for you, for me, have been brought into the light so that we can see them, put attention on them instead of avoiding and disowning, address them, find tools and techniques to transmute them, and transform. This is what leads to progression. Progression is what leads to fulfillment and happiness. The science is there. This is not woo-woo stuff. <laughs> We humans simply like and enjoy these things, progression, fulfillment, happiness. So this equinox is a time of new beginnings, 
but there's still a lot of mental distress and collective worry about what's still going on out there, understandably. So it's still very much a time to continue to strengthen ourselves and become much more clear regarding whatever it is that's been coming up for us. Part of this journey is facing these darker aspects of ourselves, and it's not always fun or easy, but there's no way around it. It's just part of the process. So with the spring equinox, we're talking about death and rebirth. Death, letting go of what we need, what we know, I'm sorry, deep down inside that's not so great for us, letting it go, which is a much more multifaceted experience than that one sentence or what you might hear in going to an occasional yoga class. I mean, the yoga practice is, the physical practice of yoga does address exactly that, death, letting go, and rebirth. That's the short of it, though. Um, you know, there's, like I said, it's a much more involved process overall. But releasing the old, letting it die, so that we can allow for a rebirth, this is what it's all about. This is what the equinox is all about. Rebirthing of something old or birthing something completely new. So before you start your day, go within, even if it's just for five or ten minutes, so that you have a baseline that you can always come back to. This is of utmost importance right now during this particular equinox, okay? Okay. Look for the next video popping up right now. It's a five-minute guided meditation to support you that you can use first thing in the morning to harness yourself and your energy before going out into the world. And then you can also use it at night just before sleep so that you can give whatever you've encountered during the day back to the world in a sense, come back to you, solely your energy, come back to what really truly matters for you, what's true for you and only you as you drift off to sleep. That's all for today. If you'd like to book a session with me, take a look to take a look at your whole health and then root down into what's true for you. Please contact me through my website below. Please like, share, and subscribe this channel as it was created to support anyone in need at this time. That one small action can help more people to be well. Thanks so much and take care out there.